pranam welcome to unlearning dear friends are you getting the expected results for all your actions i don't believe you may work hard to get the expected results but the results may vary from what you expect so how is it possible your efforts may be 100% but the results will not be up to the expectations there is a spiritual secret behind the results let me explain you take an example two students who are studying in 10th in the same school in the same classroom with the same tutors maybe from the same family and having the same learning environment may get a different results one may get a rank as a result one may fail in the exam how is this possible let us interpret friends the results is not in your hands only the efforts bhagwan shri krishna mentions do the first half leave the next half to me that means do the action give the results to me naturally the results is not in our control every results is based upon the actions what we have done either maybe uh, in the previous life or in the current life or some bad actions whatever actions it will get accumulated usually we call this actions as karma in sanskrit upanishads vedas has defined this word as karma karma means precisely the action so the results will vary based upon what karmas you have done that means the deeds which you have performed the karmas is of two types one is good karma and one is bad karma the good deeds and the bad deeds whether you do a good deed or a bad deed it will come back to you meaning every action has got an equal and an opposite reaction that means every action has got a reactions okay so now if you do a good deed you will get back the good deed if you do a bad deed the same will happen to you now these results are based upon the deeds what you do the deeds what you have accumulated the deeds or karmas is like accounts balance sheet you have all the karmas which is brought forward from previous life we call this karma as prarabdha karma so prarabdha karma means it is a brought forward karmas which is carried forward from previous life to the current life so if you have a prarabdha karma the results will vary that means whatever efforts you put you put 100% efforts for some kind of action the results will be based upon what karma you have brought forward from previous life this is prarabdha karma this prarabdha karma doesn't have any kind of negotiations either you may be a rich person or maybe a poor person or you are an influential person in the society it may not vary prarabdha karma is always carried forward and it will apply to the current results for whatever actions you are taking on daily basis this prarabdha karma is again divided into three divisions how it will impact your results from accumulated previous life actions is purely classified into three divisions one is ichcha that means without your knowledge in the previous life you had have mentioned yourself that yes i may get this kind of results but that results has not affected the previous life but it is carried forward to the next life that is with your knowledge iccha prarabdha karma 
that is self decided second is anicca anicca means you do not decided that this should be the results or you do not expected but suddenly you are going on the street you will collapse or an accident may occur you are crossing you are just walking but something may hit you so you have not decided it but there is a accumulated karma from the previous life that is called as anicca you are not decided at all but it happens the third classification of prarabdha karma is paraicha that means neither you are aware nor you are decided but somebody else would have decided your fate so prarabdha karma precisely is nothing but the brought forward karmas from previous life which will impact your current results let us talk about second type of karma which is called as sanchita karma sanchita karma is the gathered karma which need not be from previous life it may be from the current life you would have accumulated all the good deeds or bad deeds from the current life it will impact either today or in the future but you will have the reaction for all your actions but this is not brought forward one good thing about sanchita karma is you can negotiate you can negate it you can balance it how do you balance the sanchita karma which you have accumulated from current life if you have done a bad deed you can negotiate by doing a good deed by spiritual practices you can do many sadhanas that is attainments achievements you can perform a meditation you can do a bhajan you can do japa you can have different kind of inner connect to the divinity once if you have connect to the divinity through any kind of bhakti marga the path of the bhakti this sanchita karma can be balanced agami karma means the action which you perform today but the results may not be today but the results or the reactions may be postponed for future time it may be for next life or may be future in this life so there are three types of karma again i'll review one is prarabdha karma which is brought forward you have to face it one is sanchita karma which is the actions done in this life and one is future which is accumulated from the current acts so there are three types of karmas prarabdha karma sanchita karma and agami karma now knowing this friends you can perform good deeds spiritual path to balance the karma so if your efforts are 100% but results are not as per expectation start burning those bad karmas the bad effect of the previous actions so start doing good feel good leave the better place and make the world a better place to live and monitor every action that you will not carry any kind of karmas which will impact your own results karma is just like a mirror you do something you will get the same so do good start good not tomorrow now be karma yogi do the right thing give good to the world do good karmas always thank you for watching